And so when you are off on your weekends, what do you like to do with your free time? I just got my scuba diving certification Shut last year. Shut the fuck up. Right. And I, it was like my lifelong goal. It was way more That's challenging so than I awesome. had. That's so awesome. You know what's awesome is that I overcame a lot because it was so much harder than I thought. Of course it was. You of know? course. It's a fear factor. And you it really teaches you mental strength. But a girlfriend of mine got a horse a couple of years ago. And she tells me all the time that riding her horse has given her more confidence oh, yeah. than anything she's done because she's learned how to be calm and, you know, and all of that. Um Holy shit, that is so incredible. Where do you like to dive? I live right down the street from a dive school because I live near the beach. Okay. And so I went there and Catalina is literally, I live right near where sure. you dock from Catalina. Sure. So that has been kind of incredible. It was, I had an ego So going do you take in. the ferry going over? How do you like to get to Catalina? What's the your boat, favorite? Take the, the boat ferry, just yeah. from, yeah. I and love, you can see so many dolphins out there and it's, sometimes it's beautiful. It's a nice little getaway for LA. I love you know? this. Have you traveled with your dive gear? Uh huh. Where have you gone? I went to the Maldives last year. Holy fucking I know. shit! I know it's amazing. Maldives was number one on my list. Number two would be the Galapagos. I love this. I was so really much. a little disappointed. I felt like the Maldives has changed since I looked at pictures of it when I was a child. Okay. See, I went in with to scuba diving with a little bit of an ego. I don't go into a lot of things with an ego. I feel like this business has humbled me in so many ways. But when it comes to the ocean, I was born in Huntington Beach, so I've been surfing and diving in the ocean a lot. And I came in with an ego thinking I would have this down to a science. And especially because some of my friends that I went with didn't have the experience in the water that I did. So I was like, these fucking nerds, I'm going to show you what's up. Oh, no, I had no idea. It was like reteaching yourself how to walk. Yeah. And it's about leveraging yourself and also understanding your tank and knowing that your pace and reading all of your, your, you know, you, you have your little watch on and yes. so that you know everything that you're doing. It's, it takes, it's Slowing not something down. you can party and do. It's something that you no. have to take really seriously. I have some very good friends from New York that dive a lot and they travel with their gear, a group of firemen, and they just love it. It's a great escape. And they take underwater cameras and take some pictures. Yeah. This is fantastic. Yeah, that was I love that you're doing this because the something that you have that is just yours. This is the life I chose. Chose, chose, chose.